progress. Right. OK. Sorry about that. I've been having computer difficulties. Let's just do this. So you want to have your feet shoulder width apart. We're going to sink the hips back and down. And we're turning our waist. That's great. Well, we're all definitely warm enough today, aren't we? Yes. So I've got a brand new thing. So last week, um, I did rather a lot of Tai Chi. Uh, went, I went to a seminar online. And then, uh, and then me and Amy went to Mike's online Tai Chi class after the Tai Chi seminar. So it was, it was very good. So uh, welcome. So just breathing in and out. Notice the breath as it comes in, notice the breath as it comes out. So uh, next week we've got a special guest coming. Uh, celebrity. So, um, so what, what the plan is, is that we'll finish at quarter two and then you can go and look after my mum. Um, and show her where all the tea and coffee is and then we and me and mum are going to come and join in with keep fit if she's not not too tired so uh, yeah. well she does some room pilates so, <coughs> she should be right. so we're just we're just turning so sink the hit keep breathing so you want to you turn your waist, so what, that's this area here, that's this area here, and just allow this bit and this bit to turn to each corner. And then what that does, and then you'll let go in your lower back, and also have a slight softness in the knee joint, so you want to unlock your knee joint, but the knees want to point where the toes point at all times. So when you're turning, it's quite tempting to move the knees too much. Resist that temptation. And uh, yeah, what we're going to do, we're just going to do the first four movements of the Budwan Jin, just to kind of ease ourselves in. He has changed it slightly from the last time I did the training with him. I might, I might try and dig out some music on my computer and see if we can put that on as well. It's got to work out. I'm not great with computers. And you're just sinking the hips and you're tall through the crown of the head. That's it. So you wanna you wanna you wanna turn your waist, look. So turn to the corner, turn to the corner. Turn to face the corner. That's better. Marvellous. Okay, let's do bounce. So this is called bounce. So you get into the first third of each foot. You sink your hips back and down, and, and, and the new people, do you know about the T, where the T is? Okay, it's up there, you see that, that window there? I've just put the milk up there, and there'll be tea, coffee and chocolate, and proper cups, and biscuits. Oh, it's brilliant, isn't it? Quarter two, that's our tea. Very important for exercise, isn't it? And we just, we just bounce. And, and those of you that are on, so I'm not talking to a chair for the new people. I've got three people on Zoom that can't come to Ely. And there are, it's because of what happened in the, that COVID business. I ended up teaching everything online. And some people liked it so much, they stuck about, or they don't live in, you know, I've got some people in Cambridgeshire in London. And, <coughs> So it's quite a long way to come to Ely from London, so I said, well, you can just come on Zoom. But, um, and I also get a video, um, so you can watch it after at home and practice it all over again, so it's, it's good. Yeah, so we're bouncing, and, and you want to let go of this, this part of the lower back, the muscles around there. Um, so in Burwell, was it Burwell? No, it was Reach. At Reach, I got asked about can we do things that are nice about uh, nice for backs? Because in hot weather, backs can 
be a bit of an issue, so we'll, we'll have a bit of a back thing. <sighs> okay, and then we go from bounce to shake. Shake's great. So, I was imagining, because there was a few downpours we've had this week, and then it's, we've had the downpours, well, some, some places have. Uh, Burwell didn't, but Cambridge did. And, um, you're in your, you know, your t-shirt or vest or whatever, and you're, at, you're getting soaked. And uh, I was wondering if this exercise might be a good way of drying off <laughs> afterwards. You know, because it, it reminds me of when my friend's assistant's dog likes to jump headlong into ponds, especially nasty ones, and then he'll, and then he'll come out of the pond and then with great glee, he'll do something like this, but better than what I'm doing, and we'll get sprayed with doggy water. And it's like that. So if that helps you do this exercise, that's the kind of image. Just pshh, have some water, <laughs> share it. That's good. So then, and then we'll just work on the knees, focus on the knees, and the thighs, and then the hips, and the tummy, and lower back, and then the ribs, and then the shoulders, and then we go out to the side, out to the side, out to the side, keep going, keep going, keep the shake going, and then you stretch, stretch, and then release. That's good, isn't it? Right, let's do that again. So keep it long first, and sink your hips, Take, take it out first, because that, that doesn't, that's not much fun. Okay, let's do one more, once more with feeling. And we're just breathing. We get out, 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 And so the, the shaking movements uh, occur in a thing called fajin in Tai Chi. When you, when you do your when you do your punching and, and kicks and things. And uh, like for part of wild horses mainly, if you do it as a far gin exercise, that's what that shaking does. It's good for, yeah. Anyway, oh yes. We'll do it in slow motion today. So we're just gonna whiz through a things called the loosening exercises. Um, I learned most of my loosening exercises from Master Chung. But I also learned a couple from Eva Kaskuba and one from uh, Andrew Heckett. This is Andrew Heckett's one. He's, he teaches in Philadelphia. I'll, I'll sort some music out in a minute as well, but at the moment we've got the birdies. Four, three, two, and one. And then turn the palms up so you get a nice opening feeling. I'll show you that from the side. Opening feeling in the chest. Are they still building out there, do you know? Are they still making a big dusty mess? Yeah. Okay, that's why we've got the door shut. Because Jeremy uh, said last week, we want to keep the dust out there and not in here, and it would it would just let in hot air and dust. So um, that's what that's why we're not opening. The, normally in the summer we have all the doors open, but not when there's a building site. <laughs> so just think cool thoughts. Four, three, two, and. One and then change. So, oh, this one I'd better explain it because we've got some new people, haven't we? So, okay, let, let's split it into two. So, we've got the arms. The arms go, you go T shape, T shape, then they drop, 
and then one goes at the front and one goes across the back and you want as much input as possible in touch with your body when you let the arms drop. Okay, and then just to quickly go, if you want a slightly wider stance, you transfer the weight and you're doing the outside turn. So you go into the left leg, turn to the right corner. You go into the right leg, you turn to the left corner. You go into the left leg, you turn to the right corner. Go to the right leg, turn the waist, left corner. Left leg, turn the waist, right corner, put them together, and you've got this. There we are, that was very quick. So you want to make sure you're turning the correct way, which is the opposite direction to where your weight is going through. Keep breathing, very good. Four, three, we'll just whiz through these. Two and one. Fantastic. And then we just go up. So we, we've just been going through the loosening, uh, for those of you that got stuck in internet land, warning, <laughs> great, Ooh. and um, you can catch up by watching the video, I'm trying, to, I'm trying to get much faster at putting the videos up, it's the Grey Heron Internal Arts YouTube channel, we have got, I think we've got 116 subscribers, very exciting. I don't know what that means, but it sounds good. And, um, you know, I mean, there could be people watching our videos all over the world or something, you know. It's very cool. <laughs> maybe, maybe, a, maybe a bunch of Chinese people go, God, that's rubbish. <laughs> so, uh, four, three, that's not Tai Chi. One, <laughs> two. No, because. Um, you get these visiting instructors coming and, and you think you're really good and then they turn up and you go, mm. <laughs> So. So this is, this is the loosening, this is the third loosening exercise I learned from Master Chung. The trick with that is really letting go in that shoulder joint. Just letting it, and you're, and there, there's a little bit of a, there's a little bit of bounce in there. And we're all breathing. So yeah, that, that, I think someone was phoning up asking about the badminton. Um, they vanished, didn't they? All the badminton people. So if any of you like badminton and want to play it, I suggest you go and grab yourselves a gang of badminton loving people and then we can have it back again. Because if there's only one of you, that's quite hard work, hitting it and then running, and then that, that's going to be too much. So, if you want to play badminton, bring a couple of badminton-loving pals, and then you can have a, you know, you can do doubles as well. Dub doubles is better than singles, it's a lot, it's, it's, but if you just play on your own, it's a bit miserable as well. So, get, get three more people, and then you can start, you can play badminton from nine o'clock. Um, and it's only £4. And it's only £4 if you're only playing badminton. So that's because there's no teacher. Um, it's very exciting, isn't it? And four, three, <coughs> two, one, <coughs> wobbling. But they could clear badminton and then come into the classes as well. They could, yeah, you could do all, you could do all three. You could go to three, two classes and play badminton for the, for a fiver, but, and get tea and biscuits. I mean, what more? Then you go straight after. I mean, you'd probably have to go and collapse somewhere, but yeah. <laughs> but people, you in the olden days, in the before times, people used to do stuff like they do badminton, then they do the tai chi, 
and then they do the pig fit. I don't know how they did it. I couldn't do that. Okay, shake up. Okay, hands on the hips. Let's just get our lower backs happier. Oh. Seven and eight. And then the other way. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven and eight. Fantastic. Okay, nice and tall through the body. Sink your hips. And we're breathing. And we'll, yeah, we'll do this one. One, two, three. So we're just doing, there's a, there's a more strenuous version of this, but this is the, Easing ourselves in gently version. And one more. Fantastic. Okay, polishing the table. So I take a slight wider start, make a nice round shake in the hand, and then you turn, and then the hips sink back and swing in the opposite direction to the hands. And you come back, put it back where you found it, and then one, two, Three, put it back where you found it. Very good. One, two, three. Keep breathing some more. Very good. How are we doing? Yep, yeah, that's it. So you can try it out at home later. Two, three, and then once more. Very good. Okay, next. Point down, point up. Turn it over and then stretch. One. Down, up, rotate, stretch. Two. Down, up, rotate, stretch. Three. Down, up, rotate, stretch. Four. We'll do two more. Down, up, rotate, stretch. Five. Last one. Down, up, rotate, stretch. Six. Fantastic. Okay. Final one of this um, being nice to your back set. Uh, Monkey King takes a seat. Demonstration. So you're like this. And then the arms are swinging like a pendulum and the hips counterbalance. So you counterbalance the hips with the hands. You come back. You settle down. And then at this point, when we did this with Eva, she says, survey your kingdom. Ha, ah, there we are. Because you're a king, you're a monkey king. And we'll just do that, we'll do that one, we'll do that six times. You come back, you settle. Mm. Two. And settle. Three. Now, if you feel adventurous, you can go into a full squat if you want. Four, but only if you want to, and can get back up again safely. Five. And six. Great. Okay, that, that's feeling a bit, starting to feel a bit better. Let's do, uh, let's do some shoulders and then we'll do some necks. Okay, here we go. One, two, three, four. So in, in, six, seven, eight. In hot weather, it's worth being kind to your joints. One, two, so we're just getting nice and comfortable. It's like we're tuning up. Five, six, seven, and eight. Other side, one, Two, three, four, five, six, very nice. Seven, eight, other direction. One, two, and six, soft thoughts. Soft, soft round the shoulders. Six, seven, and eight. Okay, bird folds its wings. One, 
Two, show you that from the diagonal. Three, four, five, once more, six. And then Peng waves its wings. So the Peng is a giant mythological bird uh, from China and we're moving. So it goes past the ear, past the ear, and you're turning your waist. We're turning our waist. Five and six. We'll just do six today. That will do. Post check. Mm. Other side. One. Breathing. Keep breathing. Two. Beautiful. Three. Four. Five. And six. Fabulous. Okay. Nice and relaxed. Uh, finally, let's do some next. One. Two. Three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Very good. And then we do a, a semicircle. So the nose goes in the semicircle to one corner and then the semicircle to the other. Here we go. One, two, three, you can close your eyes if that helps. Four, five, six, Seven and eight. Okay. Hands, shake the hands. And we go out and in. One, two, three, four. And each individual finger. Six, seven, and eight. And then circle. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Other way. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Up, down. Two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight, and shake. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Small circle. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Small circle the other way. Very good. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And then big one. One, two. Oh, it's good, isn't it? Three, four, five, six. Seven and eight, very nice. And the other way, one, two, three, four. We could do this at Glastonbury, couldn't you? Five, six, seven, and eight. And then rolling forwards, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Rolling back, two, three, four, five, six. Seven, eight, over and under. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and shake. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Right, because it's so hot, if you've got some water, get get some water and we'll come and do some bad ones in after. Okay, so the Badwan Jin, we'll see how far we get, we might get through all eight, because this is a pretty, um, pretty good group. So, um, first movement, 
is you interlock the fingers, you breathe in, you breathe out, you stretch. So interlock the fingers like that, you breathe in, you breathe out, you breathe in and out. So he was quite specific about the breathing. I think it's called stretching to the sky. Breathe out, breathe in and out. So this is movement number one of the Bhagavan Jin. This, this set is very, very old. Breathe in. Breathe out. It's probably not as old as some of the yogas, but it's sort of getting there. Let's do a couple more. Breathe in. We're just practicing. Breathe out. Breathe in. Breathe out. Now the next one's a bit tricky, but it's called bend the bow to shoot the arrow. So you come in, you come up, you breathe in, you step out. Into, bow and, uh, into pull stance, you want your weight equal, and then breathe out. That's it, but keep the weight in the middle and pull the bow back. So you've got the, uh, if we, we'll, we'll do that again in a minute, but just to, you've got this shape, you've got this shape, and it, that's called the lion's mouth. The lion's mouth, you can do it like that, or you can do it like that. Both are, are equally legit. Um, and then you're pulling, so the elbow's going in the opposite direction, and the hand, it's like you're putting the arrow through the lion's mouth. And then just, uh, we'll just do this bit. So just go in the middle, sink down, and pull as you sink through both feet equally. So you want the weight through both feet equal. That's it. It's, it's a lot harder, isn't it? That's it. And drop the shoulders. Drop the shoulders. That's, that's not bad. Right, try that the other side. So you come up and down. And then you look with your... Cause good job we did those neck exercises, isn't it? You look to the other side. So that's, that's, the, that's the end bit. And then what you do is you scoop and you stay low and then you come up and then you, let's just give a few trial runs. And then you scoop, up, step, down. Scoop, together, up. Step, down and scoop. Wretch. So that, yeah, that's not bad. So the trick is, we, we have done previous versions where we've been on one foot more than the other. But in this particular version, he's in the middle. So it's a bit like um, you're, you're in the middle and you're stretching like that. So it's not like that. And it's not like the one I did with Barry where you go like this. That's, that's absolute murder, that one. So it, it's, but it still works. If you don't want to go into a big horse stance, you can just do it like this. And that's just as good. And you're still doing it. You don't have to go as, in a bigger, bigger stance as what I'm demonstrating. Okay, let's, let's do that proper now. I think we've had a go at it. So, we come up. Now have your right hand on the outside, so it's like a butterfly. Now step out, not too far. And then as you sink and down, you stretch. Bend the bow to shoot the arrow. Now stay low, scoop underneath. Come up, step. And then come back. And step. Three. Four. We'll just do one more week 
side because we've done this rather a lot and it, it's very good for your legs. Five. Six. So remember going through the middle. The middle. Okay, the next move is called stretching between heaven and earth. So you come up like that, you breathe it in. This comes around the back and you turn. Breathe in. Breathe out. Breathe in. Breathe out. So look, breathe in, breathe out. Yeah, my loudspeakers aren't as good as Arthur's, but you can still hear the music, can't you? Breathe out. Breathe in, breathe out. Breathe in, breathe out. Breathe in, breathe out. And one more time, breathe in. Movement number four, wise owl looks around. So you breathe in, breathe out. Breathe in, breathe out. I think we'd be better off doing the next four next week, because otherwise we'll be late for two. Breathe out. It means we can go through these ones again. Breathe in. Breathe out. Okay, let's go through those four again, but we'll do two each. No, we'll do three each. We'll do three each. So, movement number one, stretch into the sky. Breathe in. Bend the bow, shoot the arrow. And Stretching between heaven and earth. Breathe in, breathe out. Breathe in, breathe One more time each side, and then Wise owl looks around.
I saw a barn owl the other day just flying across the field. You couldn't hear nothing. It was amazing. Amazing. Um, so that's the end of the first half. We'll do the next rest next week. Um, yeah, let, let's go. Let's do this one. So rolling the ball to one diagonal and try that in the other way. And then what we're going to do is full fun go for a bit of a walk. So I'm, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to turn the, uh, right, the zoomings are going to get a bit seasick, but there we are. Fantastic. Right, let's go for a walk. Oops. So what we're going to do is we're going we're gonna to go like this. I'm going to step. There we go. Okay, so, oh yeah, 
come round in a circle. That was very good. We got quite a lot done today. Um, we're just going to turn the waist. So turn the waist. See if that feels any different. And then, and then we'll be stopping for tea imminently. And then we'll have another water break, those of us on Zoom. And we'll also be looking at the... We're starting the second, we're starting the middle third of the fall today. It's exciting, isn't it? Okay, sun and moon. Breathe in. So just tune into that really quiet space. to get lots of tea done. <laughs> so don't mind. And nice with that. And then we rub the hands together. So this is to help you look younger. See if it works as we polish the face. I think smooth and youthful thoughts. Very good. And you're all experts at the first four with the bar to gin, so that's good. So we can do the next four next week. A little bit more complicated, but I, I think we can cope. Rub the hands together and then give the lower back rub. Oh, that's so nice. And then, great. Let's do, breathe in, breathe out. Embrace the tiger, return to the mountain. One more time. Stand for a moment and then make a push the right hand, left hand over the top, bring your feet together and bow. Brilliant, well done everyone. Well done and show the new people where to get the tea from. Brilliant, are you sticking around? Fantastic. Yeah, 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 that's fine. We're, we're just going to grab some water and then we're going to do, we're going to start looking at the we're going to look at a section between Step Back and Repulse and Monkey and the first single whip, but just join in. Yeah. Um. Right. Huh. It's getting a bit hot in here now, isn't it? Hi there. to wait for their tea. I'm impressed by the diligence. Um, so, um, yeah, if you, if you go over there, now this is going to be fun. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to be at the end of, so you want to be in a back, oops, hang on. Oh. I was never very good at technology and then the pandemic happened and then um, I had to 
to learn all these things that I've never used before, so it's all a bit... So, what you want to do is put your left foot forward. You're in a left... Have you done some Tai Chi before? Yeah. Oh, good, you look like you know what you're doing. That's fantastic. No, it's, it, you can be completely fooled. I thought you'd be coming for years, so well done. Um, so, you want your left foot forward and your left hand out. And then what we're going to do is you sit forwards. Hold the ball. Is that right? Yes. And then we do a step. Inspect the horse's mouth. Roll back. Ward off. And double handed push. We'll probably just go up to there actually. So I'll just show you from the front. Actually, if you turn around, it's going to be easy rather than seeing me sideways. I'll do it from the diagonal this side, and then I'll do it from the diagonal this side, and we'll do it ad nauseum. So if you face this way, those of you are not come, come up, that's it, yeah. So I'm putting my left foot out, put your right foot out to the diagonal, you're in a bow and arrow stance. Now hold the ball, transfer the weight, turn the waist, and you're like this. So palm up and palm down, yeah, yeah, do whatever works. And then you turn and you sink back. Point to the back corner. Turn to the front. You sink forward. You sink back. Sink forward. So what I'll be doing is I'll be facing in the same direction everybody else is. It's just that if I do that, you can't see what my hands do. <laughs> so it's a bit of a nightmare. So start with holding the ball like this. So you've got your right foot forward, step the right foot, heel toe. Transfer the weight, turn the waist, inspect the horse's mouth. Roll back. So we do the 24 step, the Beijing 24 step, that's it. And then sink back, sink down, double handed push. So this is fresh from last night's class with Mike. We <laughs> thought, why not? And then we'll just do that. And the thing is, when you do the same thing over and over and over again, you start picking it up without actually having to think too much, which is a good plan. You want to avoid thinking and you want to just do following as closely as you can. And once more with feeling. Very good. So, yeah, the, the Zoomies have got a bit of an advantage because they've been doing this for all during lockdown as well, so they're all expert. So you go to the back corner and then you turn your waist and it's all in the legs, really. It's all in the legs. Now, because your other side doesn't want to get left out, we're going to do this on the other side now. So step, heel, toe. Oops move this trip hazard. Inspect the horse's mouth. Roll back. Ward off. So that's a, a right angle. Double angle. So just to give your leg a bit more of a workout. Inspect the horse's mouth. Roll back. Ward off. Double hand. Step. Inspect the horse's mouth. Roll back. Ward off. And double hand and push. Yeah. Yeah. You pick that up really fast. Fantastic. Right, so uh, just so you can see it in context, if I we've just done the end of step back, um, just, to, just to watch. We've just done the end of step back and we pulse the monkey, and then we hold the ball, we do it that side, and then we turn and do it on the other side.
and then we turn again and we go into single whip. So um, a week on Friday, I've, I've already pre-recorded, I teach a class on Zoom on Friday at 11 o'clock in the morning, 9 o'clock till 10. And uh, next week I've got to work in London that day, so I'm pre-recording my morning's classes during the week, so the people that come to class will have to watch them on YouTube. Um, but we're looking, we're basically looking at that that section of the first third ad nauseum. You'll love it. it. I ended up overrunning by six minutes though, so it's an hour and six minute class, so you get really good value for money. And um, yeah. Okay, let's for fun, let's go through the form. Did, which form did you do? Was it It's similar kind of stuff, yeah. yeah. It might be... Can you remember who was that in training? No. Oh, yeah. mm. I don't know who that would have been with, but I might... I do know some of them. His name is Don
I'll move, I'll move the zoomies back. But they, they usually end up getting seasick, the people on Zoom. <laughs> a bit like the Blair Witch Project with a shaky cap. So we do that. Okay, we're going to finish off with triple heater because it's hot, so we want to make sure our thermoregulation is working. So we come like this, breathe in, breathe out, breathe in, breathe out, breathe in, breathe out. One, two. And then once more with feeling. And there we go. Oh, great, okay. I better clear, clear off because of the keep fit. Well done everyone, that was fabulous. Good job, right, let's get some tea. Tea time, fantastic. Well done everybody, yeah.